Hey there guys, Everyone's Vanguard here, welcome to this next episode of Let's Play Nicktoons Unite. There's a lab over there, inside this lab. And uh, we have ourselves a new ability that we got at the very... At the very tail end of last one, a bubble bomb, as Spongebob said. There's also coins in here for us to collect. We could also hear Patrick laughing off in the distance, that's what a lot of last episode was. Just Patrick, being Patrick. Also, I don't think that created anything. There we go. Now out of the way... Cause that thing actually can damage you, that's how Spongebob has a little bit of damage on him. And the sound sinking is weird, so the explosion is astronomically loud. That might not be the right term, because there's not a whole lot of sounds in space, is there. But, that's something Timmy can do of all things. I would have expected Jimmy, not Timmy. Wrong way. No, there we go. Move it over here? <laughs> That's not quite what I was expecting. We can move this fridge, but for what purpose, I don't quite know. Over here. That's where we... Move the fridge. It's close enough. I hope it's close enough, anyways. Let's hope. Let's hope. So... Now how do we hop up there? That's the real question. By teleporting out there, that's how. So nothing over there. Th that's probably a Danny. Oh, never mind. I was going to say it's probably a Danny area, but it's not. So now... Hop over here? No. Yes. Yes. There we go. Thank you, Timmy, for collecting the coins. We're saving... He's probably doing it because we're saving up those coins either for him or for... Uh... Or for, what's his face? Jimmy. Gosh, his name rhymes and I still couldn't remember it. And I said it was my favorite show. I am appalled with myself. Good th good thing I did come up here with Timmy, though. Because he has to mess with this uh, valve right there. I am really not good with my terms today. But oh well. Hopefully the rest of this level won't be too long because... I kind of don't have that much hard drive space to continue recording stuff. I have about six gigabytes for uh, this episode's video and audio, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it eats up way sooner than you would think. I've routinely had to uh, cut away stuff. In fact, right now I've started, uh, like, uh, because cause essentially if I have a... Uh, to have the files before I edit it, I essentially have the files on my computer twice once... Uh, in uh, Elgato's software once, that's where it's actually recorded, and then uh, another time for it to actually be exported and usable to me. So what I'm doing is, and I ha and I have a at least the Elgato recording still on my computer all the time, because in case I need to go back and modify something, I still want that file there. So what I'm, do what I'm doing right now, when I have access to more proper internet while at school, what I do is... Uh, I upload uh, that raw file, and then once it's uploaded, or once it will be uploaded, I still need to get through all of Revenge and the Flying Dutchman first before I can actually start confidently deleting stuff. But once I do, but once it is up uploaded that um, the raw video footage, then I can delete both the exported file on my computer and the Elgato data, so that frees up a lot of room real quickly, because otherwise, uh, and then if I need it, I can just download that single video straight from... Uh, YouTube and it's all private so it doesn't appear on your end it's just on my end but yeah that's what I'm trying to do to free up some space on my computer because I am running very 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 low and I tried doing it on my home Wi-Fi last night but the last episode of Avengers of the Flying Dutchman the raw footage I have of that that I tried to upload um it got stuck at 97% and it didn't continue forward for some reason and I had to cancel the recording and I wasted about an hour and a half just sitting around trying to wait for that one video whereas it would be like 15 minutes on the school's Wi-Fi because it's so much better than mine. But I'm complaining. Right. Now that we've saved the jellyfish, it's time to find Plankton. We're coming to save you, Mr. Krabs. Was that really all that was left of the level? Why'd you put Garter there? There was... One room in between, or two maybe, but still not a lot. <sighs> My gosh, this game sometimes, it makes questionable decisions. Allows the bubble blower to charge by holding down A. 
Once fully charged, SpongeBob blows a large bubble bomb that is twice as powerful as the regular bubble bombs. Power drain high. I don't think we need to do that right now. It's probably not going to be useful for the boss, if I had to imagine. For as much as I was, uh, for as much as I was hyping up Doodle Bob, we haven't really been using him. But hey, it doesn't matter to me. So long as we have him in the game, that's what that's what truly matters. It matters to my heart. But we are going to apply all those upgrades that we did and continue along to the chum bucket which i thought we were already in but okay oh please don't tell me this is an actual level i'll be upset if it is i've tried being reasonable with you crabs and i've tried being unreasonable yet you refuse to surrender the crabby patty formula why do you resist why won't you give me that formula no mr krabs don't tell him what spongebob plankton you've gone too far this time what would your mother think why i'm sure she would be very proud of me i was always your favorite prepare to be crushed All right, when you want something to sound intimidating, you don't make it have a light doop sound when it lands. You're, it's supposed to be a crashing sound, especially when it's that big. Otherwise, it looks like it makes it seem like you made it out of aluminum. But here's our boss fight against Plankton. And now I understand why they were saying uh, Mr. Krabs was with Plankton. I would have said he was captured by Plankton personally, because just saying he was with Plankton up ahead made it sound like a... Oh, that was a Bowser-style move if I've ever seen one. Oh, Danny, what the heck happened to you? Jesus Christ, dude. Ooh, we are going to lose some of these recalls. There goes one. Dang, that, that wrecked Danny. And I just saw that power up over there. That sucks. So what do we do now? Eh, sorry. What do we do now? Get that life up. Get out of the way. That We all got hit by that. Thank you for dodging, folks. Alright, so there is a thing over here I just saw. That's not what I wanted. Jesus Christ. Interesting to know that while they were in the chum bucket, those things didn't have helmets. Plane just robot out stuff. A big bang at the right moment. We'll flip him over and... Okay. Flip him over and expose the soft underbelly. So that is a sponge drop thing. Sponge drop. Wow, he is being good. Obnoxious. Hey. Okay. Um, you're, that's your own problem, Jimmy. Also, did we all get hit? Because I swear I had more. Um, that didn't work. Um, let's toss that. That didn't work? Come on! This isn't going too well, is it? That is not going well at all. I'm out of energy. Dear God, this is a train wreck. A beautiful, beautiful train wreck. Oh, great. That didn't do anything. So do I just, like, have to basically time it right and predict it? Alright, Jimmy, let's use you. Because I'm getting real sick of Plankton's crap. That doesn't count. Alright. Maybe there was like a thing that was like, hey, detonate your bombs instantly, and I couldn't tell because I have bad reading comprehension. Also, Timmy, come over here. We've already lost... I swear to God. Ooh, Lord. Uh, need to figure out how to detonate those bombs instantly. Get some energy for SpongeBob because he, God knows, he needs it. He especially needs it right now. Is that enough for you, Plankton? 
No, because they didn't explode. What on God's green earth? Also, Jimmy, you're just going to stand there and get hit like an idiot. Ugh. There we go. Finally. That didn't do anything. Oh my god. This is going to be rough. So yeah, this might end up being a longer episode after all. We're already at 11 minutes. Oh lord. So, more energy for Swarm Tribe. You guys can just deal with it. Why don't we? Alright. There we go. That wasn't how I intended for it to happen, but let's slap him as much as we can. That's basically chip damage, though. What the heck? And then we have to fend off all these guys. Ooh, this is going to be a long battle. I remember Pl Plankton and his robot, but I had no idea. Like, I didn't remember at all what to do. I basically remembered him sitting in that robot at the top. That's all I remembered of this fight. And then, of course, I remember the Flying Dutchman existing. No. Alright. There we go. That's a bit more substantial damage. Not much, though. Oh, lordy. So, let's get you guys some more health. Come, come on, Plankton. Please stop that. Also, I got something in my eye. This is the most inopportune time for that. There we go. Get out of the way. Oh, my gosh. Doodle Bob, why can't you be more useful? Dang, these guys are taking a lot of damage. Get you more energy so you can shield. You didn't do a very good job there, Jimmy. You see, Danny, that's how you shield. Thank you. Also, I'm not being the best example. Still getting hit. Oh, now he's, now he's changed. He has a laser. There we go. Oh, gosh. That's inopportune. Oh, no. Will you please stop? There we go. Okay, that didn't work. That didn't work. Ah. Really? I wish these allies were more smart than they are. Of course, I'm the one that's getting the most damage here. Get out of the way, guys. Just walk into his way, why don't you? Um, thank you. Alright, get a bit more damage in this time before... Oh, bad. Get hit again. Now, get energy for everyone's... Shields, 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 okay. Get energy for me, because I'm the most important one here. I'm going to be frank. You guys aren't doing too much. You, you guys are just kind of take absorbing some of his fire, I guess? Still not doing too good of a job at it. Yeah, you guys are just going to stand there and get hit. Oh, speak of the devil. Um. Oh, I can jump over that. Nice. Yeah, Danny's literally in his idle animation. He's just standing around. And then he gets hit. Because why wouldn't he? Um, there we go. All right. Why don't you help out, guys? There we go. What would your mother think now? You're right, SpongeBob. She would be very disappointed in me. Being a villain is no way to live. That's right. Go on. I can change. I can see the error of my ways. I'll help people from now on and devote my life to being good. I don't know if he's learned his lesson, but he's certainly not ruling Bikini Bottom anymore. Oh, I wouldn't be too sure about that. 
I can't believe you fell for that. And you, SpongeBob, falling for the line about my mother? <laughs> when will you people learn? <laughs> Patrick, where did you come from? Uh, up there. Uh, bleh, I need a shower. You may have stopped my plans, but the Syndicate is still getting energy from Dimsdale. We will soon have enough energy to finish the Doomsday Machine, and then you will all bow down before me. Nothing can stop the Syndicate! Nothing! <laughs> Doomsday Machine? That doesn't sound good. Let's find out what Crocker's been up to in Dimsdale. We've got to stop them from powering that Doomsday Machine. Otherwise, all of our futures are at risk. Sounds like we're going to Timmy's world next. Unfortunately, we did lose one of those um, abilities because not fun things happened. But, oh well. Oh well. We can live with it. We still got 11 more. I just kind of wish we could have gone far. Well, we did lose some in that initial run of the prison. So, I guess my streak was over before it even began. Sorry if I was compl- Oh, wow. Yeah, we lost four during that, and I didn't even notice. Dang. Ooh. But yeah, I'm sorry if I was complaining a little during that. It was just a bit much to take in all at once. And again, at least during Vlad's fight, the, I mean, the enemies were kind of there to absorb. I mean, your allies were kind of there to absorb some of his shots, but they just weren't- They were literally doing nothing there. Except- chipping in a little bit when he attacked so um yeah we'll save over that s slot because that's where i started the episode with and it doesn't help me to re restart now all right it's loading and this should take us back to jimmy's lab right and we can explore there a little more okay continue yep jimmy's lab So now you get to see what it's like to fight a, for me to fight a boss fight that I don't know what to do with. It's uh, not pleasant on my end, I'll say that much. This is a job for Quest. Settle down. Oh, now I know what we're doing. Now I know what we're doing. We're coming. Oh, we actually did collect all those. This Use Quest to Roger. open this up. Walk through here and get even more money. Uh, what on earth is that? What on earth is all this thing? There's some of Jimmy's old inventions, but with lots of money. And we can, in fact, upgrade Timmy now. So we're going to upgrade his regular ability because it's incredibly good. Again, my apologies for that boss fight. It wasn't my best showing. I, I kind of wanted to get through it because my hard drive space is a little limited, but that's no reason for me to be yelling at the boss. So, my apologies for that poor showing it, and I still can't quite see what that is. Well, would you mind turning the camera? It looks like a helmet or something? Like a football helmet? Yeah. I thought it was like a brain, but no, it's a football helmet, which we certainly don't have anything for that. So, we'll just collect the money and continue along. It doesn't respawn in here, though, oddly enough, because there were those ones on the chandelier, not chandeliers, but the light fixtures before. But we can go over to Goddard and uh, upgrade. So what was Timmy's again? Upgrade uh, causes the charge attack to transform his enemy into toys. I want, I still want to see what that is, so we're going straight for that. It'll take a while, but we'll get there. There we go. And what else does he have? Boy, what happens if we upgrade this? Allows Cleft to charge by holding down A. Releasing A slams the hand down, causing a shockwave to travel towards an enemy. So, pretty basic, all things considered. And then, yeah. So... 100, 150, 100. We're in pretty good shape to upgrade a Timmy next go-round. I do want to apply that upgrade, so continue. And does that actually have a different effect? Oh, it's a big star instead of a spread shot. So now the regular thing is the spread shot. Unless that's how it was before and I never noticed, but... 
That's interesting. So it's like a permanent upgrade. Yeah, upgrade Timmy's. Even though it... Wow, that's a power drain. But it doesn't matter. Again, my apologies for the poor showing on the boss. But... Well, not much I can do about it now, except to restart the whole recording session, which I can't do because my hard drive w it don't, won't allow it. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. We'll enter the portal and start the next level, I guess.